Just look at these images. These are not Photoshop. Maybe you guys have already seen these images on social media and don't know how to generate these kind of images. So in this video, I'll show you how you guys can generate these trending images. Okay, so this is available on Hugging Face where you can see this model called Control Net version 1.1. And you can see we have multiple options over here, multiple different models uh, like Canny, Gribble, Soft Edge, Open Pose. And we have a lot of different models, but the one model that is more versatile and works every time is line art. So what I'm going to do is select this model and click on upload button and select your logo on what you want to make image. Let's say uh, this is OpenAI's logo without background. This is just a PNG file. Okay, so I'm going to type any prompt. Let's say uh, aerial view of snow. So just run this. Sometimes it takes long time, but right now this is not busy. In previous days, it was very busy that you can't even join this uh, queue. So now it's generating our results. See you after the results. Okay, so this is the result that it generated, where you can see it generated uh, OpenAI's logo. First of all, it made a selection of that logo and separated that logo from its background. And then you can see it implemented that logo on its snow. So this one is very satisfying image. So let's try one something else. This time instead of snow, I just typed aerial view of forest. So let's see what it comes up with. So this is the final image output that it generated, where you can see the aerial view of this forest, but it's segmented that logo and this is not bad actually sometimes you can get this kind of error where you can see something went wrong so this is this application is too busy so you have to keep on trying until you get your cue okay so this time i'm gonna try this alphabet with this little boy this could be a complicated image because we have two objects in it so i'm trying the same prompt aerial view of the park so this is the output image it generated a pool and uh, generated the grass and make that character and overall this image is appealing and looks good. So let's try other models and compare them side by side. So I uploaded this same picture on every model like Canny MSLD. So you can see I have uploaded this same picture on all of these models. So this is the result of this first model called Canny and uh, this is not satisfying. So this one is from second model and this one is from Scribble. Well, this Scribble one is good. Uh, as you can see, it generated a road like and the center of the park and uh, it looks realistic image. So the next one is soft edge. So just look at this. This one is also good, but not that satisfying. And this is not looking that realistic. And this next one is open pose. And uh, this is just a park. I can't see any letter. And then we have segmentation. And uh, this is the output image that it generated. Well, this is not exactly what we wanted. So then we have depth. This one is also not good at all. So this one is from normal map. And this one is from line art. Uh, so these are some last models. So the perfect model that we can use right now is this line art. And then we have scribble. So these two models are best to generate these kind of images trending right now. So you can play around with different settings. You also have different settings like you can uh, click on that advanced option. Uh, we have number of images, uh, but we can't control it. It only generates one image. You can increase or decrease your resolution of the image. You can change the guidance scale. You can change the number of steps. And you can also, uh, and you can see this is the uh, additional prompt. Like this is by default in the advanced options. And these are some negative prompts. When we click on different models like this one, uh, when I click on line art, you can see the advanced option will be different for this model. So you can see the line art and in line art, we have different options like line art anime, line art course. So you can play around with different settings. Well, the best of two models are line art and this scribble one. So that's it from this video. If you guys find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.